This video is designed to help answer your questions about using the Air Check-In app. Air Check-In will allow you to report via your personal cell phone or other mobile device. And I'm going to show you how it works. You can use Air Check-In to report from any location that has internet access. It saves you time and money, and you don't have to arrange for childcare or take off work. That being said, once the app is downloaded, it's important to report as directed by your supervisor. So if you ever have any questions or you're having difficulty, make sure you contact them in a timely manner. So first thing we need to do is get the app downloaded onto your device. First, you're going to have to make sure that Google Play Store is available. That's where you're going to get the app. Android version 6 or newer is also required. Unless you have a really old device, this shouldn't be a problem for most people. But if you need to check, go to Settings, about phone or device and tap Android version and see what version you're actually running. Wireless connectivity is required. You've got to have access to the internet. And then your supervisor will give you the user name and password that you're going to use to log into the app. Keep in mind that Air Check-In can indeed be downloaded onto multiple devices at the same time. So to make that happen, you're going to tap the app's icon and you're going to get to the Google Play Store. Once inside the Google Play Store, you're going to look for the Corsoft Air Check-In app. And that's what you're going to type into the search bar. This is the app that you're looking for. So once you find it, select it and tap on Install. It's important to accept permissions when prompted. The app's going to download and automatically place a shortcut on the device's home screen. This is what the shortcut looks like right here. If you download the app, but that icon does not show up on your device, check the Android version of your phone. An older version may not load that icon. So once you get the app downloaded, Tap that air icon to actually open the app. You'll see the login screen where you're going to enter the username and password that was given to you by your supervisor. If you're having problems logging in, contact your supervisor. Remember, passwords are case sensitive. When you log in, the first thing you're going to see is the home screen. And then across the bottom, you'll see access to home history, calendar help, and then a settings icon that says more. So let's look at the home screen first. Home screen is going to show you all your calendar items and anything going on with your check-ins. So if you've got a red item, that's an unsubmitted check-in. And that means that you completed the questionnaire like you were supposed to, but for whatever reason, your device was not able to upload that completed questionnaire. So what you're going to need to do is make sure you take that device to an area that's got good internet service and then tap on that red item to resubmit. That should take care of it. Pending check-ins are shown in yellow. Those are check-ins that are due and they're waiting for you to complete them. Ongoing or active calendar items are blue. Upcoming or future or historical calendar items, that is calendar items that are in the past, those are white. Now if you tap history on the toolbar across the bottom, history is going to show you your submitted check-ins and the most recent ones will be shown at the top. If it says check-in expired, it means the questionnaire can no longer be completed. Your supervisor gives you a time frame to complete your check-in to get that questionnaire filled out and submitted. And if it says check-in expired, that time is over. So it may be a good idea if you see that, that you go ahead and call your supervisor and let them know that you missed a check-in so they can send you another one if necessary. Tapping on calendar is going to show you your upcoming events and again your most recent are shown at the top. Calendar items are entered by your supervisor only. These could be check-in requests, they could be a meeting, they could be when fees are due for example. Your supervisor can even set up reminders for these events. Now this calendar is completely controlled by your supervisor. Only he or she may add items or set reminders. It is intended to be specific to your supervision only. So it cannot be synced with any other calendar you may currently be using. You'll get a reminder because it'll show on the top banner of your phone or 
in the middle of your home screen of the device that you're using. So it will also show on the check-in apps home screen. If the device is not silenced, a tone will also sound. Tapping help on the toolbar is going to allow you to see resource information that was deemed useful by your supervisor. It's also going to give you um, your supervisor's contact information. So this screen could be AA meeting locations, it could be community resource contacts, it will vary by agency. And then of course on the bottom it's going to have your supervisor contact information. And then finally on the far right that more toolbar um, it's got those three items under it. First is profile where you can see your participant information, um, username. Um, it's got your enrollment date and your date of release listed here as well. Regardless of what these say, make sure that you continue to fill out your questionnaires and check in until your supervisor reports you that it's no longer required. And then finally on the bottom you've got a change password link that will allow you to change the password to the app. The About section is simply version information, and then you have the option to log out. Notice on the right there is that reminder to make certain that all your check-ins are completed and submitted prior to logging out. If there's no red item on your home screen, you should be good to go. So let's actually look at completing a check-in, since that's what the Air app is all about. So completing a schedule check-in with the Air Check-in app, from the home screen, you're going to tap on the pending check-in reminder. That's the yellow item on your home screen. This is a scheduled check-in. It's as simple as answering all the questions and tapping submit. So the app is going to notify you if there are unanswered questions. This box will pop up. Tap Submit Anyway if that's what you meant, or select Cancel to return to the questionnaire and answer the questions that were not answered. Now your supervisor is going to require verification that you're the person filling out the questionnaire. It's going to be one of four things. It's going to be a pin, a signature, a photo, or fingerprint. And we'll talk more about verification methods on the next slide. But once you complete your verification method, you're going to tap Submit, and then you'll see on the bottom bar that it's going to tell you that that check-in has been completed. It's a good idea to go ahead and check the history and make sure that that check-in can be viewed in history that it was indeed completed. So as far as verification methods go, I mentioned there are four. Pin number is sim uh, similar to an ATM pin number. You enter your four digits and you simply select Submit. To submit a signature, sign in the signature pad, and then select Submit. If you're taking a photo, if your agency requires a photo, tap to take the photo. If necessary, make sure you switch to the front camera if it wasn't automatically done by your agency. If you don't like the photo you took, you can tap on that X to take a new one. When you get a photo you like, tap on the check mark, and then select Submit to submit your photo. And then finally, uh, fingerprint, place your finger, the one that you use to register your phone, on the fingerprint reader and follow the prompts. So speaking of prompts, if required by your agency, this app is going to submit one GPS point when you submit your questionnaire. So that's the only time the app will take a GPS point. At no other time will the app take a location. This app is not a GPS tracking device. But there are, there are prompts that the app is going to ask for access to device location, for example, or files or photos. The app doesn't access any of your personal information at all. Rest assured, the app is not collecting any personal information on your phone. These permissions are simply needed for the submission of the questionnaire and for any links like phone number links that may be in the help section to actually work within the app. So in addition to scheduled check-ins, your supervisor may also send you an on-demand check-in, and he or she can do that at any time. The app will send you a notification that will be announced on the banner, on the home screen, and if the device is not silenced, that tone will sound. If you absolutely cannot stop what you're doing, you have the option to tap no to pend that request, 
or you can tap continue to go ahead and we'll take you to the questionnaire where you can fill it out and submit it. If you tap no, make sure you complete the check-in before that check-in expires. So let's actually look at a check-in on a screen. So there's the app on the home screen. There's the home screen of the app itself with the pending check-in request. Check-in history shows you your prior check-ins. There's your calendar items. Next will be the help section that shows resources and phone numbers. And then under the settings icon, more, your profile information, the app version, and then it'll show you how to log out. So let's actually do a questionnaire. We'll go back to the home screen, tap on pending check-in request. Now these questions will vary by agency. You simply tap on where it says enter response and your options will be given that are appropriate for the question. Work your way through all of the questions. When it comes to a time that may require entering a date, it will give you a date time picture that will allow you to select the date, allow you to move the ball to select the proper time. And then you click on that blue submit bar. Here's a verification method. For this, I'm simply going to enter a pin. I enter the pin number. I tap on submit. Notice it says getting location, submitting responses. The banners came up to show you that they have been successfully submitted. And now that check-in is complete. When I go back to the check-in history, you'll see that it shows that that required check-in has been completed. And we're back at the home screen. So if after viewing this video, you still have any questions about using the Air Check-In app, please feel free to ask ask your supervisor.